So if you like to see how I got this sprayed out, just continue to watch it. What? does the lion make? Yeah. <laughs> you clever boy. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I got this braid out. Pretty easy and simple to do. I haven't done a braid out in ages and I used to love the way my braids out turned out and I literally used to rock braid outs all the time. In the beginning I didn't really like how my wash and goes used to look so I used to do twist outs and braid outs so this is the turnout if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and if you like to see more videos like this subscribe to my channel I'll be posting videos every Tuesday and Friday I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye so I'm starting off with washed and deep conditioned hair I've already got my hair in four sections from when I washed it and I'm just putting my hair up and I'm working on one section at a time. I'm taking my ORS for Naturals leave-in conditioner. Um, yeah, did a great job at showing you how much I'm using, but I'm just taking a fair bit and smoothing it through my hair, making sure to spread the product evenly. So yeah, just raking, smoothing, and making sure to put a bit more product towards the ends of my hair as well. Then I'm taking some of my homemade growth oil and I'm smoothing that into my hair also. If you want to see my secret recipe for my hair growth oil, you're going to have to subscribe to my channel. And then I'm taking the Sheer Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. And I'm also smoothing that into my hair. I'm doing the lock method. This is what works best for my hair. But if you do have a similar curl pattern like mine, these products and this method may just work well for you too. I do have medium to high porosity hair by the way as well. So once all the products are in, I then take my denim brush and I brush those products through my hair so that the products can spread even more evenly. And then once I'm done brushing, I then go ahead and twist that section. Go ahead and put more of that curl enhancing smoothie on the ends of your hair if they feel a bit dry. And then I just repeat for each section. I use one of my DIY deep conditioners on my head on this day. And as you can see, my hair is really soft and bouncy. So if you'd like to see the video on that, subscribe to my channel. The video for that will be up soon. Once I've put all the products in each section, I go ahead and put my hair up and I'm leaving one section down. Again, working on one section at a time and I'm parting each section into two and so I'm going to be doing eight braids on my hair for this braid out and so I just go ahead and plait each section. I brush my hair through one more time with a denim brush and then I just begin to do a three strand braid on each section. And also put more product towards the end if it feels a little bit dry. And then at the end of the braid, I curl the plait around my finger. So to get good results from a braid out, you want to make sure to get the products evenly distributed. And you want to make sure that your hair is tangle free. So that's why I'm brushing my hair through, just trying to get my hair as smooth as possible. And the denim brush works really well with this. 
it's not the easiest brush to detangle your hair with but it helps to get that product spread it evenly and also be careful when brushing your hair um, always work from the bottom upwards and you don't want to snag your ends because that can cause split ends and breakage so just take your time when brushing your hair out so yeah just continue to do the same thing for each section of the hair just take your time with your hair be gentle to your hair love your hair and your hair will love you back And I must point out that putting the products in a different order will come out with different results. I know it's weird, but the leave-in oil and then cream order works best for me. Your hair may prefer oil, then leave-in, then cream, or leave-in, then cream, then oil. But you just gotta try different things and see what works best for your hair. But trust me, it took me some time to figure out what method worked best for my hair. You'll find out what your hair likes and what your hair doesn't like. And also with the products as well, you'll find out what your hair likes and what your hair doesn't like. So just be patient with your hair. Don't give up on it. So that's all the sections done and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some perm rods to put on the ends of my hair and I'm just making sure that they are the same length on each side. The perm rods will curl your hair which gives the braid out a more uniform look. You see what I mean when I take the braids down. I used to just leave my ends out without the perm rods and I don't know, the, the ends just looked dead and dry, <laughs> if you get what I mean. But yeah, just use the pro mods, they'll give you a better look. So I left the braids in for about two days because, you know, it's quarantine, where are you going? They did dry within the next day, but they were just a little bit wet still. So if you do need them for the next day, I would suggest to use a hairdryer to just dry them because you don't want the braid out to be wet in any way when you're taking the braids down because your hair is just going to get frizzy and it's not going to come out the way you want it. So it needs to be 100% dry before you take those braids down. Yeah, so I'm just taking off the perm rods and I'm being careful not to drag them out. And then I'm taking more of my secret growth oil. <laughs> and I'm taking one section at a time and smoothing the oil on it before I take it down. This just helps to reduce frizz and I'm just slowly taking it out and just leaving it for the time being. When you're taking it down, be careful not to cause too much frizz. So I pull on two strands and it should unravel nicely, but sometimes it can snag if you haven't done the plait smoothly. So you want to make sure that you plait it smoothly so that the unraveling can be done smoothly as well. You don't want to pull on your hair too hard as well because you don't want it to snag and break. So just carefully take down all the sections of your hair. And this is what the hair should be looking like once you take down all the plaits. Shiny, smooth, bouncy, all that jazz. And then I'm taking my Afro pick and I'm just starting to pick out the roots of my hair. 
be careful not to comb out too much of the hair because you don't want to comb the braid out, out. You just want to pick the roots just to pluck up some volume. And also you want to get rid of those partings as well. So I just take the afro comb and pick where the partings are as well. And then I'm taking some more oil <laughs> and smoothing the whole section because I'm preparing to separate the sections. I'm separating each strand into two and I'm just trying to minimize as much frizz as possible. So just try and get a clean separation with each strand and I don't over separate my hair either unless you want a fluffier look but I like my braid out to look a bit clumped together. And then once I'm done separating I flip my head over and I shake out the roots just to try and get rid of those partings and to get some more volume into the roots of my hair. And then I'm doing a deep side part because that's how I like to wear my natural hair, my braid outs, because I don't think the middle part suits me very well. But you can leave the parting down the middle if that's what suits your face more. But I like a deep side part. And then just fix your edges how you like to. Um, I didn't use any product on my edges this time. And yeah, this is the finished look. And I'm loving it, loving it, loving it. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you do try it out and if there's any questions that you might have. You. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!